Hello everyone, I am Dr. Yoga Lakshmi, consultant obstetrician, gynecologist, laparoscopist, IVF specialist at United Hospital, Dainaga. Today, I will be throwing some light regarding the important aspect which is a major concern among females of all the age groups that is white discharge per vagina. White discharge. White discharge per vagina, every woman in the lifetime, once or the other, and uh, she will suffer from the normal white discharge. To differentiate between normal or abnormal, I will be telling few aspects, few clinching points uh, where the normal can be differentiated from the abnormal. The normal discharge, it will be such as, I will be just showing you the type, the consistency, the color. So this is a creamy white discharge. This is a normal white discharge. It will be non-swelling, non-fall smelling. Absolutely, there will be no smell. They will not associate it with any itching or it doesn't cause discomfort like burning sensation from down. It can be creamy white as such. You can see here, it's just a white color and a fluidy type. So this is a normal white discharge or it can be a creamy white. I'm sure that it's visible here. So this is a creamy white, a light tinge. So which is not smelling, so absolutely doesn't cause any discomfort or the hitching or the burning sensation. So these are the normal white discharge. When is it common? They will come and say, doctor, I have got the normal white discharge. So these white discharge is common before the periods and after the periods, few days uh, during the periods or at the time of ovulation. So during the release of egg, they will be having a uh, white discharge which can be clear fluid or it can be a thick mucousy type which facilitate the fertilization. So I'll just uh, show you which is a uh, creamy serous type. It's just a shiny. Okay, it is very sticky. I think now the glistening type, whatever you are able to see, so that is a mucousy discharge, which is very common in the females during the time of the ovulation. So apart from these type, there are other types of discharge which can be abnormal. So before the period to the after the period, so if they have a brownish tinge like this, it can be due to the type of the spotting. You can see here the light brown color and the chocolate brown color. So it can be after the menstruation. So it shows that uh, this discharge, it's because of the stoppage of the menstruation after the few days. So afterwards, totally stops so it can be either the light brown or the chocolate brown color or sometimes it can be like this with then white discharge with a slight red tinge uh, most commonly seen in the post menstrual after the intercourse uh, due to some type of uh, vaginal irritation or the cervical irritation so these type of spotting it's very common in case the discharge is abnormal it will be associated some type of discomfort and the irritation so now I'll be explaining some types of the abnormal uh, discharge. The first will be the fungal infection, as you can see. So it will be like a flakes, which is a thick curdy discharge. It will be like a curds itself. So this type of discharge causes uh, vaginal vulval itching. So this is most commonly seen in the case of sexually transmitted uh, infections. Uh, so the intense uh, hitching, whatever it's there, can be treated with the appropriate uh, treatment and the tablets and the pessaries. In some cases, the discharge can be yellowish. Sure, you are not able to view this uh, dark uh, yellowish uh, patch. Uh, so, which stinks, uh, there will be a fishy odor, which is a foul smelling. So, the smelling can't be tolerated by anyone uh, with the hitching. So, this is a type of uh, bacterial uh, infection uh, which has been treated with the antibacterial tablets. Uh, so this treatment is very important. In uh, other cases, uh, there can be a uh, greenish uh, tinge. This uh, greenish uh, discharge is associated with the trichomonas uh, infection, the tinge. So this is also a uh, type of infection where it has to be uh, treated. And uh, whenever the white discharge is uh, more, do consult your uh, 
doctor the treatment is very necessary in cases of uh, diabetes where the patient is having an uncontrolled sugar so this discharge becomes very intense it will be a more uh, profuse uh, which causes uh, even more uh, discomfort for the patient uh, in cases of uh, excessive antibiotic use uh, for some uh, reasons uh, that also causes uh, excessive uh, discharge in cases of pregnancy whatever the patient is uh, having the discharge is a normal uh, wide discharge other uh, predisposing other causing factor should be treated once again if that greenish discharge is not visible so you can just see where this type of greenish uh, infective discharge is a trichomonas infection is present and few of the discharge can have an uh, uh, blackish uh, thing this is also due to some sort of uh, uh, abnormal uh, infections uh, which may cause this type of uh, discharge if the patient is having a polyp, it can be at the mouth of the cervix or the inside. Uh, in between, the patient can have uh, bleeding or the spotting. So examination is uh, very necessary. Whenever you come to a gynecologist uh, like me, they will examine uh, from down, rule out the cause, what is the uh, reason and uh, association with the uh, multiple partners. That's also a reason where uh, the excessive wide discharge is uh, very common. The first is maintaining the hygiene. Hygiene, you have to wear the cotton panty liner mm -hmm. and wear the cotton underwear. So keep yourself uh, hygiene, wash it thoroughly, dry it. The area, whenever it is uh, wet, it actually attracts the infection. It allows the bacteria to grow. So maintaining dryness, it's uh, absolutely necessary. Whenever your uh, undergarments are uh, wet, uh, definitely change it uh, regularly if it's so. Otherwise, use some tissues or the uh, cotton cloth to wipe it and uh, dry it so that it will be absolutely hygienic any uh, doubt regarding these type of uh, discharge whether it is normal or abnormal do consult your doctor uh, and then take uh, their uh, advice on the treatment accordingly so that you will be free from uh, any type of uh, abnormal infections mm -hmm.